Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and let's get back into time trials. Gonna stick with what we've got right now, we've unlocked the Cat Cruiser. Okay, uh, where's my other one? Where's my other thing that I needed? Oh, where is it? Oh, it's way down the list, okay. And let's go to the Electrodome. This looks like an interesting one to beat, so let's see if we can beat it. Go! I like this song. I don't know where to use my mushrooms. I'm sure I'll figure it out, but I don't know. Can I? Nope, missed that. Okay, that's fine. The ghost isn't being that difficult at the moment, which is good for me. Maybe at the very end I can use the mushroom to go through the pipes. Like that. I don't actually think that helped that much because I think I slowed down, but anyway. Two and a half seconds ahead is a pretty good number to be ahead by. Gonna try and get the boost off of that, thank you. If you crash into it the wrong way though, you're gonna probably slow down. Needs more rave lights. Oh, that was bad. Anyway, I'm still ahead by second and a half. <laughs> Don't tell anyone about this. I thought I heard a shell. Am I crazy? Probably. I mean, at this point. Why wouldn't I be crazy? Gonna line myself up a little bit better here. For that. Very nice. You win! Just wanted to tell you that you win, and you also got a new record. Okay, let's change course. You can also, um, favorite the highlights for the, uh, time trials, apparently. I don't know why you would, but you can. Okay, Waluigi, let's see if I can beat you at Wario's Mount, Mount Wario. Mount Wa. Why does Wario get two levels and Waluigi gets nothing? I mean, there's Wal Waluigi Pinball, but that's, that's about it. And there are even multiple variations of Wario Stadium. I feel like this is going to be a very interesting track to have a ghost for. And also mushrooms. Also mushrooms. Okay, I'm three seconds ahead. Three and a half seconds ahead. I still don't use any mushrooms. I don't know where to use them. I think I can think of two places where I'd want to use mushrooms, and that is it. Might just have to use one whenever I feel like it. Okay, the first one that I can think of is right over here with the the glider thing. So just dash over that. Okay. 
Oh, don't crash into trees. Maybe one I can use to recover from terrible crashes. Like that. Three seconds ahead. Okay. And the last spot that I can think of is right at the very end with that sn the snow that you can drive into and get stuck on. Not sure how helpful that's going to be, but still, I think you can do it, so. Like that. That was excellent. Pretty much two minutes on the dot. Oh. Incredible. And that's the Star Cup done, so let's go ahead and go up to the Special Cup, which has Rainbow Road on it. Oh boy. Also, because we're doing time trials, it means I get to do the Nintendo 64 Rainbow Road again, so that would be fun. Cloudtop Cruise. Okay, you got a better boost to start off, but that's probably because you're using the bitty bug. Cart. Okay, that could have been a lot better, but it's okay because we're still going. I can't think of any good place to use mushrooms at all. Maybe as a replacement for these boost pads if they get struck by lightning. But that is it. Also, I thought I heard something was following me, so I'm definitely playing this game too much. Just gonna use a mushroom there. One and a half seconds. Pretty good. Man, if we had a Mario Galaxy 2 3, would it look like this level? Would it just be this beautiful? And amazing. Like even inside of this cloud thing is amazing. Inside the storm. So good. I really want Mario Galaxy 3 now. The, the, the design of this game doesn't feel as forced as other Mario games, I guess. And that makes it want like that makes it a, it would be a great way for an actual Mario game level because of it being less forced. That was a bad choice, but I'm okay. And it looks like I'm going to win this. With my four coins. I almost got five, but anyway. You win! Oh, and the flying ships look really cool. Especially with that size. Okay. Change course. Let's go to the next one. What is the next one? Bone Dry Dunes. Okay. Let's go against the ghost. This is going surprisingly well so far, but this is also still 150cc. Oh. Also, saying 150cc is a challenge to say it quickly. It's not the hardest challenge, but it is a challenge. I think I'm going to have to use my boost in the middle here. I don't know how helpful that's going to be, but I'm still going to do it. Can't think of anywhere else to do it. And that's what the ghost did, so I'm assuming that's what I'm supposed to do. Okay, doing well, doing very well. 
The ghost is on my tail though, so I need to be careful of that. Oh, and there's also this bit at the very beginning that you can dash through that hole there. To maybe get in front of somebody. Three and a half seconds ahead, it's pretty good. So I think the coins have respawned in this. Maybe? Maybe. I thought they weren't gonna respawn, but they have, so... Okay, this is going well. I have a good lead. And I have ten coins, one mushroom left. How much time am I ahead by? Seven seconds. Excellent. Most excellent indeed. Yes, quite. Yes, yes. Just need to boost off of everything in the universe. And we are in the clear at this point. There we go. An entire section of the track ahead. I think I won. New record. Oh my goodness, 10 seconds. Almost. Just under 10 seconds. Okay. Bowser's Castle. And then Rainbow Road. I always say that after that level for some reason. It's drilled into my brain that the next two levels are gonna be in trouble. It's gonna cause trouble if I mess either of them up. So. Oh, good start. Now, where would I use mushrooms ever? Where would I use mushrooms ever? I can't think of one spot I would ever use them. That causes trouble. So far, so good. Maybe right here. Like... That. I didn't see what the, the ghost did, but I'm winning, so... By one second. I like having the timer with the, the, the how far ahead you are. I wish I could figure out how far ahead I was with the time all the time. Like, even against other players, it'd be nice to have my personal time on there. Just so I can see if, I can, if I'm doing better or worse. Okay. I don't know if I would want that for, like, local play, though, because then people could see my screen and see how far ahead I am. Although, if, we're, if, if every other player has their time and all that, or compared against my time, maybe. Actually, that'd be... that would work, kind of. I don't think it could tell you how far ahead you were, but it could tell everyone behind you how... how much they're behind. Because if everyone had their times, then they could compare the time... my time in first place, or whoever's in first place with the per people... with the, their own time behind that. But yeah, you couldn't tell, you you couldn't predict how fast ev all the rest of the players were going to go. Also, poor Bowser, I'm not even paying any attention to him. I'm just busy talking about having a timer in everything ever, because that'd be useful. Okay. Only won by a few seconds, so that's that's pretty good. And now it's time for Rainbow Road. Let's see how that goes. I think I should be fine. It's 150cc, so... 
But if I need it, I can break drift, probably. Let's go. 2 minutes 25 seconds, that's the time to beat. You could estimate how fast, like how, how far behind somebody is. Or how far ahead the person in front is. But it'll be difficult to do. Also, it'd be really depressing to be in anything other than first place and always telling you behind you how far behind you are. But still, if, if it was not an option, I would turn it on. So I don't know where to use these mushrooms. Oh my goodness, I like the satellite. It looks cool. Use it there. That's the plan. I'm gonna stick with my plan. I'm gonna grab coins apparently. Six seconds! Oh my gosh. It feels good. These turns are not even a problem in this CC. It's weird. I think I'm going to beat the time, considering that it's a minute 15, I'm almost at the end of the second lap. And the time to beat was 2.25. I should be pretty good. 8, almost 9 seconds. Pr pretty much 9 seconds. That's how close it was. I think the track is also making sound effects that sound like shells, which is going to throw me off in a few spots, but anyway. Also, I have 25 seconds left to get to the end, which I should be okay for. That last lap took a lot longer than I thought it would. But maybe that was because the end of the second lap took so long. That's a good 10 seconds of difference. Oh my gosh. The second lap was the best. First lap was the worst, third was... Uh, close, pretty, pretty close to the second. But anyway. Move on to the next cup. Since we've got the, the, the first part of the top row done. Let's go to the Shell Cup. Moo Moo Meadows. Okay. Here we go. I know where I'm going to use my mushroom as well. It's at that last bit of the field over here. Because that's probably the best spot ever for mushrooming in this level. Probably. Can't really think of anywhere else other than maybe over here if you're not going fast enough anyway, but I don't imagine why you wouldn't be going fast enough over here. Oh my goodness, this... Just think about the back the last part of this track, it's changed a lot since the Wii. Oh, it's changed a lot though, just overall. Like the sky, the ground, the everything. It looks so different when compared to the original. <laughs> I like hopping on my, my, my preview, because on the recording preview, which is slightly behind, I see myself hopping on that a few seconds later. Also, I didn't use my mushroom, I just realized. Well, okay then. Just gonna use it here then. Three seconds ahead, that's pretty good. Let's actually use it this time. Also, I could've used it over here to skip the first pass part of the grass. As well. Oh, I was really hoping to get that drift to work. But it didn't, sadly. And now we're at the end.
Very nice. 138. Last up was the best one. First up was the worst one. Makes sense. Uh, let's change course. We're getting through this pretty quickly, I think. Mario Circuit. Race Against Ghost. 144 is the time to beat, but this isn't exactly a long track, so... Just need to use my mushroom as efficiently as possible. I probably want to use it for that ramp. Maybe? Is that ramp really worth it, though? Is it really? It's not really worth it. Oh my gosh, that's bad. Bad start, but I'm not losing so far, so that's good. Go, 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 go. I could go across here, maybe. I'm gonna go over there because I'm gonna slow down otherwise. I'm my own problem. Okay, two and a half seconds ahead. That's pretty good considering how much I messed up. I should be fairly good. I don't know where Baby Mario used his mushrooms. Not off the track, apparently. There. Okay. The last corner. We'll take this. See how you like it. I'm gonna cut every corner now. With or without mushrooms. Well, there we go. 141. It's like three seconds difference, I think. So the ghost was doing alright. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, next course. I never know what to call them. Courses or tracks, but you know. Cheap, cheap beach. This one's going to be an interesting one. Where would I use... Maybe at the very end, through that mud? That's probably the best move with the mushrooms. Okay, he has a f slightly faster cart than me. That's okay. Because I have acceleration and skill. He might also have those things, but I wouldn't really know. This is a very relaxing, peaceful level. I'd like to actually go there in real life if I could. Okay, very nice, very nice. Two and a half seconds flat. Okay. Ah, cheap, cheap. That was a cheap shot. Cheap trick. Okay. I don't know if it's faster to go off track here, but I feel like it is. I don't exactly call it off of track. It's kind of off of track, especially if I touch my wheel on that bit of the coral. Okay. Five, five, one, five. Five seconds ahead. Five and a half seconds. That's the one. No, it's the five. And a half. Dodge the crab.
This is going well. So far we haven't actually had much trouble with any of these. The only one that I think would be the hardest so far would be Wendy at um, uh, the Dolphin Shoals. That was probably the hardest one. Considering I was losing that for most of it and then somehow managed to get it back at the very end. Okay, Toad's Turnpike. Let's race against Toad. Who could have foreseen that Toad would be at Toad's Turnpike in time trials? Oh boy, but where do I use my mushrooms? <laughs> Doesn't really seem to be any good spot for them. Oh my goodness, it's Toad versus Toad. Let's see who's gonna win. Maybe just use them, probably. The best strategy. Okay. Well, so I think the game pushes you down when you're gliding if you get close to the bridge, but you're not going over it. And if you are going over it, it pushes you up. That's probably how the gliders work in this level. Why... Why are there coins in traffic? One second flat, that's pretty good. It would probably feel really bad if you were being overtaken by a coin, though, in this track. Okay. Nope, it just pulls me into the ground whenever I'm at a weird angle. Okay, final lap. We're three and a half seconds ahead. Okay. Oh my goodness, poor Toad is way behind. It's his turnpike after all. Gotta feel bad when your own track is not even working out to your advantage properly. That is unfortunate. How did that even... Gravity. And also angles. There we go. And that's the Shell Cup, I believe, under control. Well, let's head on to the next cup, since I believe we're up to the Banana Cup. Yep, dry, dry desert. Race against ghosts. I think we're gonna be okay with this one. Probably. Now, mushrooms. Where would I use them? Probably at the very end, and that is it. Gonna get some of these coins while I'm here, I guess. Oh, we're going off track. That's a fun idea. I think I'm gonna try and avoid going off track again if I can. Except for when I'm gonna use my mushroom in a second here. Oh, that was bad. I was in it too long. But I'm still almost two seconds ahead. Okay. Oh, don't touch the edge with your back tire. Peach is right behind me. 
And I'm not sure if that's just it being good or if I'm just playing bad. Okay, well, I'm doing better now. Maybe Peach is using the mushroom somewhere. Really good. But I'm still winning, so I must be doing it in a better spot, so. I got a coin. And I didn't hit the side of the sand. And I still don't know where Pete uses her mushroom. Okay, good. And there we go. You win. But for the last time, it's a new record. Cool. Again, I keep getting... But my first lap is the worst, second lap is middle, and then third lap is the best. I don't know how that keeps happening. Anyway. That is that for now. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.